Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to set up G Sync on your FreeSync monitor. Keep watching to find out how. Hi, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to show you how to enable G Sync on your FreeSync enabled monitor. Now, for some of us lucky people who have a 10 series GeForce card, such as the GTX 1060, 1070, etc. NVIDIA have finally allowed us to take advantage of our FreeSync monitors for those of us that can't afford the luxuries of a G-Sync monitor. Now, there are some slight uh, drawbacks of this. Not all FreeSync monitors are fully supported and they don't give any guarantee that your monitor will work partially, fully, or whatever. Basically, they provided it in the driver. It's an option, you can activate it and as always, your mileage will definitely vary. So prerequisites, what are you gonna need? First of all, you're gonna need a display port cable, preferably a decent quality one. Now I've managed to pick up one of the Amazon Basics. Now this is a six foot, 1.8 meter cable, display port to display port. I'll put a link in the description below. So if you need one of these, you can get one from Amazon. Uh, you definitely don't need a DVI cable or HDMI. These connections at present are not supported. So. You can throw those out, it's not gonna work for you. Next thing you're gonna need is the latest NVIDIA driver, which as of today's recording date is 417.71. Again, I'll put a link in the description below so you can download the latest driver. And definitely before you do this, I would suggest updating your Windows to the very latest version also, which currently is 1809. Okay, so that's some of the basics you're gonna need. Obviously, you're gonna need a FreeSync enabled monitor. Now for this particular video, I'm gonna be using the AOC 3279VWF, which is a FreeSync enabled monitor. So obviously, again, like I said, your mileage may vary differently from mine, depending on the monitor, drivers, etc., etc. So let's go straight over to the PC now, and I will show you how to enable it in the software. Okay, so we're at the desktop on the PC, so We've installed the latest version of Windows, done all the updates. We've then installed the latest NVIDIA driver, 417.71. And now we've got the NVIDIA icon on our taskbar, which is for the settings. So right click on that, choose NVIDIA control panel. And when it comes up, hopefully what you'll be seeing is your monitor, but with a NVIDIA shield actually on it. If you don't have the NVIDIA shield on it, it means that your monitor is not compatible in any way, shape or form with this update. It may well be enabled at a later version, but at the moment it won't be. So from there, all you wanna do, you can change your refresh rate to 75 Hertz, which is a good start and click apply. Save the changes and next on the right hand side, you've got the option for setup G-Sync. So click on setup G-Sync and you should have a clear tech box so put a tick in there, so enable G-Sync and G-Sync compatible, and enable, you can choose to have it for full screen mode or windowed and full screen mode. I'm gonna choose for windowed and full screen mode. And at the bottom, you've got an option for enable settings for the selected display model. It says here, the selected display is not validated as G-Sync compatible. So again, my mileage is definitely gonna vary, but we'll give it a go anyway. So click on apply and the screen should flicker a little bit. And now the selection buttons at the bottom have disappeared. So that's it, we're done. All we need to do now is try it out, fire up a few games, and see if our monitor is taking any effect of the FreeSync and G-Sync technology. Now, like I said, your mileage will definitely vary. My mileage looks like it's probably gonna vary as it says my monitor isn't supported. So I'm gonna go off now and try and play some games and see what happens. If you do the same and let me know in the comment section how you're getting on, what experience you've had, has it improved your gameplay, has it made it worse? Some people have actually reported that it's actually made their games look worse and they're better off with V-Sync. So give it a go yourself, let me know your findings, put them in the comment section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.